It's now time for interviews here on NBC Radio for Tuesday, September 29th, 2015. In studios with us this morning, we have three beautiful women with us. We have Miss Annis Horn, ECCB representative and coordinator of uh, FIM Activities 2015. Mrs. Natika Adams, Client Relations Officer, First Citizens Investment. And Miss Danny Francis, Senior Marketing Officer at Gecko. Good morning, ladies, and welcome to the program. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good, mor good, good morning, ladies, and welcome to the program. Good morning, good morning. Jolly. All right, now you're talking. <laughs> now you're up my alley. Good. So this morning we're here to talk about uh, Financial Information Month. Uh, let me start with Miss Anis Horn. Anis, uh, tell us a little bit about what is Financial Information Month. Thank you, Javel, and good morning to everyone. Thank you for having us this morning. Financial Information Month is really a regional. It's a financial, economic, business, and entrepreneurial education campaign. It's executed in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union since 2002. And this is through the collaborative efforts of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the ECCU member governments, financial and academic institutions, the media, other private and public sector institutions, and the community-based groups. The program really incorporates a series of initiatives, and they're designed to support the attainment of the goal of a financially developed and vibrant ECC region that fosters strong and sustainable economic growth and the improved well-being of all its people. Now, there is a theme for FIM 2015, and when I say FIM, Financial Information Month, the theme lead, and I'm going to break that down, L is for learn, E for empower, A is for achieve, and D is for develop. And it's designed to inspire and to challenge all citizens to lead in order to effect the change that's needed to spur financial, entrepreneurial, business and economic success at the personal and institutional levels and in so doing transform the lives and the region's economy in a very positive way. Now in the design the D in the word lead takes the form of a ripple effect signifying that the process of leading is dynamic, it's action driven, it's continuous and it's transformative radiating onward, positively impacting the wider society. So in a nutshell, Java, I think I'll just stay here at this time. No problem. Financial Information Month. I am sure you have um, a month long of activities. I believe uh, Mrs. Natika Adams will want to share with us about the national activities for the month of October. Yes, please. For the national activities starting this Sunday on the 4th of October, we have Flame Church Outreach at the Faith Temple New Montrose Church, and we'll be doing a bit of tip, um, giving the congregation tips on saving for the rainy days. So we are inviting the general public to come out um, to Faith Temple Church on Sunday to um, for this. Also, we on the 4th of October, there is a community financial advice workshop session for NOBA. So as you see, we're including everybody. We, it's not that not financial institution, but we're including everybody. And they will be learning um, about retirement planning and also savings and budgeting. This session will be done by National Insurance Services and First Citizens Investment Services as well. On the 12th of October, there will be a radio discussion on um, police on the beat program on the topic savings and budgeting on the 18th of October there's a radio discussion on NBC radio views and issues there will be a um, wide panel for this one um, different financial institution heads will be doing this one on the 22nd of October there's a financial fair and heritage square with all our planning financial institution on the 30th of October there's a lead and learn mini educational veranda the eccb agency office we're inviting all students around that area primary and secondary to come out
to the ECCB agency office. This is opposite Sajiko. And uh, there will be our partner financial institution will be there as well. So you can come and find out what is it that these financial institutions do. How can I start saving as a primary student or secondary school student? How to budget my money or, you know, it's very inter it will be a very interactive day. On the 31st of October, there is a walkathon. Come on out, Javel. <laughs> yes, bring that. some friends. Bring some friends. It's from Calico to Choppins, then to Harmony Hall, Prospect, and then back to Calico. It's an easy walk. All right. I hear you, Mrs. Yes. Adams. <laughs> <laughs> and also throughout the month from October to November, the financial institutions will be publishing some weekly newspaper articles on various topics related to financial management. And also, there will... The financial institution will be partnering with the ECCB to visit various primary schools and secondary schools on the island and also in the Grenadines, teaching them about savings, budgeting, and other money advice. All yes, right, please. great. Yeah. A lot on the um, national. national activities. Uh, Miss Danely Francis, I know you yes. want to share with us briefly about some of the regional activities. you care to do so? Yes. Um, the regional programs that the ECCB is having will on the, start on the 8th of October 2015 with an ECCU Business Symposium and Innovation Forum. The symposium will run from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. and is targeted at CEOs, business executives, senior managers, board directors, business owners, entrepreneurs, and academics. It will be at the ECCB headquarters with video conference connections to the other ECCU countries. On the 13th of October, the, there will be an ECCU train the trainers workshop for teachers, and that will be on improving interpersonal communications to enable you to become a more successful leader. On the 22nd of October, there will be another train the trainers workshop for financial practitioners and that will be on improving interpersonal communications to enable you to become a more successful leader also and one for rich risk management sorry and on the 19th of november there will be an ecc youth lead conference just to also mention that there's a theme song that has been written by orandi bomani charles our very own for the eccu member states and it's called lead after the theme, Learn, Empower, Achieve, and Develop, and it was produced by Mr. Kamal Archibald and directed by Rashid Sodalan. It's very, very, it's a very, very powerful song with a video. You can check it out on YouTube, and we can send the links to um, all the financial institutions. And uh, after our headline sport this morning, I'll definitely share that song as well. Uh, uh, that's about it, uh, Dana Lee, for yes, the regional activities? Yes, for the regional activities. activities, that's about it. All right. With the little time we have, uh, I want uh, Ms. Hahn to share with us about the the painted commemorative circulation one dollar, the dollar coins. Tell us about that. Yes, Javel. Um, in observance of the 50th anniversary of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Authority, ECCA, banknote and the 32nd anniversary of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the ECCB will be issuing a limited quantity of painted commemorative circulation $1 coin in October. I think it will be available to the various um, banking institutions from the 1st of October and to the general public. The coin is the, the exact shape and size of the existing $1 coin. The reverse side of the coin will bear some of the features of the ECCA $1 banknote, which is no longer in circulation, while the reverse side would carry the usual portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Um, the ECCB, like we know, and for those who um, maybe cannot remember, the ECCB was established since 1983 and is the monetary authority for the eight islands in the ECCU. Now, the Royal Canadian Mint, which has been minting EC currency coins for the past five years, used a pad printing technology in the production of this new colorful coin. So I want to encourage the general public 
from the 1st of October. Look out for the $1 coin. It's a painted. You can keep it as a, as a souvenir. Mm -hmm. And it is legal tender. Um, it's a very pretty coin. And I know <laughs> that I, we want to sensitize you to not just to say, wow, is that a real $1? It is a real $1. <laughs> and it would be in circulation from the 1st of October 2015. I saw the photo and I said, wow, I uh, wonder if I have to keep that as a souvenir already. <laughs> put it in my purse to spend uh, but it's very colorful indeed uh, so the uh, the public can definitely look forward to that uh, we have a minute or so so you just want to just give us some um, um, parting words before you go ladies okay I would just like to thank all the financial information month partners all the community groups the financial institutions which includes the commercial banks and the credit unions the government ministries because without them without these stakeholders and these partners financial information month will not be possible and we want to thank them for their continued support thank you so much uh, danny lee francis uh natika yes um i will i also like to thank all our partner institutions and to also remind the general public to support Financial Information Month, schools, other financial institutions, government ministries. And you can also look out for the display of our banner on the customs wall. That's when you come in, you're driving straight down from Lewis Pharmacy there. You see the, the customs wall right there, you will see our banner will be displayed. Yes. So please support Financial Information Month. If there is any financial advice that you looking for that you something that you maybe you're planning for retirement maybe you're trying to save or budget and you just don't know how or you need help come out and look for us at uh, financial our financial fair heritage square and also our partnering institutions would be there to lend a helping hand to everybody a wonderful miss on Thank you, Javel, again. And to the general public, I just want to reiterate what the, my other two um, um, counterparts would have said, that we are looking forward to having you at the fair. Um, the objective of Financial Information Month, like we would have said, is really to positively impact our youths, the nation at large, and to provide really a better understanding of key financial, economic, and business concepts in a practical way. The Financial Fair is an is a opportune um, time for persons to come and have their question answers. The institutions would be on ground to provide information um, to answer your questions and so it's a good time for you to um, make sure that you make use of the opportunity. So thank you everyone and um, we look forward for everybody, the teachers, the students and our general public to share and to be a part of Financial Information Month 2015. Thank you so much. Thank and Natika, we look forward to the walk a talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much, ladies, for joining us and sharing with us about all, all that is happening for October Financial Information, Information Month. Month. Yes. All right. Lead. Yeah.